and eaters. Ready, Chris? Let's do it, Martin. Jump! Woo! Oh, yeah! Zebra, six o'clock. Hey, they look as small as ants. <laughs> Striped ants. <laughs> and there's Animal Junction. Okay, and these crosswinds should put us right on target! <laughs> <laughs> Another perfect landing right in Animal Junction. You okay, Martin? Yeah. Except that I landed in a ant hill! Oh! Ah, ah, they're all over me! Ah, ah, ah. Ooh. 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 Ants are little creatures with a big bite. Woohoo! Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to sit on your home. An ant hill is like a fortress, bustling with thousands of soldiers protecting it. When they bite you, it makes you leap like you know who. Zabu! Hey, Zabu! There he is! Come on in! Hey, Zabu! <laughs> it looks like Zabu's got ants in his pants, too. Hey, Zabu. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Want a scratch? Yeah. It's great up here, isn't it? You should see what's down here. Look at these little guys. A bunch of ants and termites built homes here. It's like a whole other world in these mounds. It's amazing. Have you ever watched ants before, Zabu? Zabu? Well, you know Zabu. No chat until he's had a snack. Apples. Zabu, I've got an apple for you. There you go, buddy. Have a piece. Wait, not the whole apple. Here, I got a piece for you. This one. <laughs> There you go, buddy. That's the one. Give me some of the food! <laughs> Hi there. Hello, ants. Wow, you guys are sure fun to watch. Look at those little ants go. <laughs> wow! Ow, 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 ow! Ow, ow, ow! They go, ow, ow, ow! Somebody bit me while I was watching those ants! Zabu, it was the ants. <laughs> and these little creatures pack a powerful bite. Look at those oh, chompers. Munga, Zika, that's a big mouth for a little creature. I'm gonna call you Jaws. Hey, that makes my mind remember. On my way here, I saw another creature, a big creature with a little mouth. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Okay, he had two big eyes and a long face. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. His mouth was pretty small, but he had a really bushy tail. This mystery. A long faced, bushy tailed, small mouthed creature. Do you know who he is? All right, let's see. He had a long face, small mouth, bushy tail, big claws, <gasps> a giant anteater. Wow, he's amazing. And he has a face that's gianter than giant. <laughs> long anteater, the mystery animal is here. <laughs> Come on over here. <laughs> hey, he's slurping. 
slipping. He's slipping my face. <laughs> hey, that tickles. <laughs> hey, Slurpy. That's what I'm gonna call you, Slurpy. No, no, those are my feet. <laughs> Great name, Zabu. Slurpy the anteater. Check out that tongue. It's pretty long, right? But that's just the tip of it, because an anteater's tongue can get up to two feet long. The whole thing's longer than a shoelace or a water monitor's tongue. But guys, why is he called an anteater? Well, he doesn't really eat defenseless little ants, does he? Yeah, he really huh? does, Zabu. He really is an anteater. In fact, anteaters were built for eating ants. Just take a look at that long nose and listen to it sniff. Giant anteaters have a great sense of smell. That's how they find ants. Like this tamandua, who is an anteater too. He sniffs along tree branches, searching for ants or termites. He finds them by smelling them. Wow, he can smell ants? I didn't even know ants were smelly. Yeah, and once he finds them, he uses his long, hard claws to get to them. He scratches away bark or dirt, and that is how he finds his food. His claws are so important for finding his food that he has to keep them sharp at all times. That is why an anteater walks on his knuckles, like this. Give it a try. An anteater has what it takes to hunt, catch, and eat ants. <laughs> but ants are great. Well, ants and anteaters should be friends. I'm gonna do something about this. I'm gonna make them best friends. Well, Slurpee, I was thinking, hey, well, what are you smelling? No, no, not the ants. No, no, wait, stop. Slurpee's gonna eat Jaws and all the other ants. I gotta stop him. Slurpee, wait, stop. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, Slurpee, where are you going, huh? Oh, you're hungry? Well, here, the snack's right over here. Come on, to the snack machine. Uh-huh, can't eat it. Let's see, uh, oh, nothing coming. Hello? Oh, nothing there. Oh, well. Oof. <laughs> I meant to do that, yeah. An avocado. Oh, try it, Slurpster. You'll like it. Uh-huh. Slurpee likes fruit. Actually, giant anteaters do eat some fruit, but it has to be pretty mushy like an avocado because giant anteaters don't have any teeth. No teeth? That's right, no teeth. And creatures with no teeth, like a human baby, have to eat really soft food. Whoa, but he has a very flicky tongue. Oh, I'm almost getting dizzy. Oh. It's amazing. It's like a worm. Yeah. I told you he'd be a good fruit eater. You're right, Zav. When an anteater eats fruit, he doesn't eat a lot because an anteater mostly eats ants. How many ants does an anteater eat? An anteater eats 30,000 ants in a single day. That's a lot of ants. So fruits are pretty good, huh, Slurpee? Slurpee? Slurpee. He's looking for something else to huh? eat. Oh, oh, wait, not the ants. I gotta stop him. I'll try to get his attention. Hey, Slurpee, let's run around Ant oh. Junction. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Gallop like an anteater. Try galloping on your knuckles. <laughs> it's not that easy, but it's easy for Slurpee. Come on, buddy. All right, over here. Whoop, through the legs. <laughs> Now let's tickle Slurpee. Zabu, I've got him. I've got him in the tickle hold. Tickle hold? <laughs> Good work, Chris. Slurpee's not thinking about eating ants. He's thinking about being tickled. <laughs> he loves it. Oh, yeah, right there. Oh, yeah. Jaws, all you other ants, you're safe now. <laughs> he really wants to wrestle. <laughs> Wrestling with an anteater. <laughs> well, let's go. Come on. Uh-oh. Well, where's he going? Hey, no, wait, stop! Not again! I know, my mind has an idea, but I better move fast! Oh, hey, Slurpster! Wanna see me do one of these crazy people things? Huh? Yeah, come on over here! Now, this is the back of the bike, and uh, I get on over here. <laughs> and then uh, you you sit on it like this, and then uh, I think you just pedal. Yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah, this is easy! Uh-oh, oh! oh. I meant to do that. That 
Besides, I kept Slurpee's mind from thinking about ants. <laughs> You're right, Zob. Jaws and the other ants are still safe. Well, that's good, but I'm stuck. Slurpee, I need help. Oh, hi, uh, Slurpee. Uh, can you can you get me out? Uh, it's a nice foot. <laughs> no, no, don't tickle my feet. <laughs> oh, stop! I give, I give, oh, I, I give, Slurpee, all the mangoes you can eat. I'll give you. <laughs> Slurpee tickling me reminds me of one time in Sabu Land. I was leaping <laughs> along, leap, 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 leap. And I landed next to Snow Lemur playing in the sand. Hello, Snow Lemur, I said. Oh, uh, hi, Sabu. Uh, you know, when I come down to uh, Sabu land, I like playing in the sand. Yeah. Oh, I like the sand too. It tickles my fingers. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. It feels good in my hands. Yeah, it, it tickles my sides too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It tickles my sides too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute! Huh? Sand can't tickle our sides! You're right, Zabu! It's not sand, it's me! Fibby! So Snow Lemur, Fibby, and I spent the rest of the morning together playing in the sand! <laughs> Great story, Zabu. Well, thanks. But you know, Slurpee really wants to get at those ants. Mm. I mean, anteaters eat ants. That's just life in the creature world. Yeah. And don't forget, ants have ways of protecting themselves. Remember those chompers? Oh, yeah. When an anteater attacks an anthill, the ants bite so much that the anteater can only spend about a minute eating before he has to get out of there. And there are a lot more ants than anteaters, usually about a million ants to one anteater. See these driver ants? The workers are heading out in search of food. But see the line of ants on each side with the extra big jaws? Those are soldiers, and they protect the workers from danger. And then there's the acacia ants. The thorns of the acacia tree make sugary food for the ants in exchange for protection. These tough ants protect the tree against grasshoppers and other predators. Wow, ants are pretty tough. I've got it. I need to talk to the ants. Well, maybe I can convince them to be friends with the anteaters. Brothers! Yes, sir. I need to do this face to face. Build me a shrinking machine so I can be as small as an ant. A shrinking machine? Yeah. Like this one? Huh? Come on in! The shrinking machine! Huh? <gasps> Manga Zika! I'm ready to go! <laughs> to the ants! Chris, you know, one of us should really go with them. You're right. Good luck. I'll stay here with Slurpee. Zob, it looks like I'm coming with you. Well, thanks, Martin. That's big of you. Get it? Big? <laughs> all right, Zob, are you all set? All set. Ready to go. Set to ant size. All systems go. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Whoa! I'm shrinking! Me too! I'm getting smaller! Whoa! We're ant size! It worked! Look who's coming. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. To oh, the no. end hill. Uh -oh. Run, Martin! I'll distract him. So slurp. All right, are you ready, ready Zabu? Yep, I'm ready. Okay, one, two, two three, three. Leap! Yeah. Woohoo! All right. Yeah, it's stuck in your head. Yeah, it's tight in here. Okay. Okay. Hey, it's Jaws! How do you know that's Jaws? Well, I'd know that face anywhere. Hey, Jaws! <laughs> I need to talk to all the ants. Could you take us to them? Whoa, hey, wait for us! us. Whoa. How are you guys doing down there? You know, an anteater has a really sticky tongue. That's how he comes up with a mouthful of ants. So watch out for that tongue. Yeah. Here we are, Zabu, the nesting chamber. This is where the ants take care of their eggs and babies. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. This is my big chance. I'm gonna talk to them. <clears throat> hear ye, hear ye. Hello, ants. You know this little war you've been having with the anteaters? Well, uh, I think you guys should be buddies. Hello? Hello? Anybody hear me? Zob, with ants are busy. They're doing what ants do. In an ant colony, there's strength in numbers, so more ants are being made all the time. Ants started as eggs, and then they become larvae. See those white worm-like things? Those are the larvae, and the workers feed them and take care of them. Everybody's just doing what ants do. Doing what ants do? 
And I guess anteaters do what anteaters do. Exactly, Sabu. And anteaters eat ants. Yeah. And a lemur is made to be lemur-sized. Back, Back to, to the, the machine. machine! Whoa! That was great! <laughs> oh, thanks a lot, buddy. The itch is right there. Yeah, right there. Thanks. Hey, they're back. Time to hit the big time. Whoa! <laughs> How'd it go, guys? Well, I decided that ants are ants and anteaters are anteaters. And anteaters need to eat ants to survive. But ants have pretty good ways of protecting themselves. So, it all kind of works out in the end, right? Mm-hmm. And all kinds of eaters are good eaters. Hey, you know what? What? I'm feeling anteaterish. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel anteaterish. How about you, anteaterish? I feel anteaterish. Anteaterish! I'm a long faced slurper with a super long tongue. Anteaterish! I'm going back for more. I love this machine. Being small is Manga Tsika! <laughs> now I'm feeling antish again. Doc! Doc! Incoming! Hi, Moonface. <laughs> it's not a duck, it's a giant Moonface, the barn owl. Well, giant to a mini Zabu. Whoa, I've never seen your talons so close before. They're like giant teeth to a little creature. <laughs> And Moonface brought a message from the Animal Helpers. Hi, guys. Hi, Zabu. Amy here. My friends live on a farm and have three pet goats. Goats are great pets. They love it when you pass them. That tickles. My friends don't even have to mow the lawn anymore because the goats keep the grass nice and short. See what I mean? Goats will eat everything, even the flowers in your garden. They're great eaters, all right. All right! There are all kinds of incredible eaters in the world. Yeah, and I like being ant-sized, but I'm ready to be lemur-sized again. Flick on the machine, brothers. Okay, here goes. Oh! Something's wrong, it's not working. It's out of the special ingredient. Uh-oh. Don't worry, we'll get some. Sounds like a trip to Mini Zabu. To, to the, the closet. closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet uh -oh. to grab their You know what always happens when we open the closet. Well, we gotta do what we gotta do. <laughs> oh! <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and they, they don't, don't know what's in store. They're coming from, from the closet. closet. A container for the secret ingredient. Go along, Chris. <laughs> See you later, Zabu. Hi, brothers. We're here in Africa, searching for the special ingredient for the shrinking machine, aardwolf spit. And how do you find aardwolf spit? Well, you could get it directly from an aardwolf, except that's not easy. Or you could also find it on a termite mound. You see, aardwolves are a special type of hyena that eat termites, so it's only natural that they'd leave a little bit of spit on a termite mound. Let's find a termite mound, come on. Too bad we don't need elephant spit, they're everywhere. All right, our first termite mound. Any aardwolf spit, Martin? I don't know, but there are termites. Hey, talk about saliva. Termites build these mounds by mixing their spit with dirt. The mound bakes in the sun and becomes as hard as concrete. Yeah, lots of termites, but what about the aardwolf spit? Let me see. We'll take a sample with our aardwolf spit test kit. Just scrape off a little dust here, and this machine will detect if there is any spit left by an aardwolf lapping up termites. Nothing. No aardwolves have been here, but birds definitely have. Look, bird poop. Birds sometimes use termite mounds as perches and lookout points. Baboons like to laze around on a termite mound too. In fact, they play king of the termite mound. Let's keep looking for aardwolf spit. Zabu's waiting. All right, termite mound number two. Except, I don't think we're gonna find any fresh aardwolf spit here. That's because this is an old termite mound. And with no termites living here anymore, why would an aardwolf come by? He wouldn't. 
But there's another creature who loves old termite mounds. Mongoose! Oh yeah! If you're a mongoose and need protection from the hot African sun and predators like a jackal, a termite mound is a great place to go. A mongoose is small enough to get into all of the tunnels and the mound is so hard, it's almost impossible for any predator to break into. Another termite mound. Test result. Ooh, negative. We're not having much luck. Yeah, and it's getting hot out of here. Yeah. Hey, let's use the termite mound like a jackal. Yeah. For shade. She has her shady spot, and we have ours. I'm feeling cooler. Yeah, me too. So, let's keep searching for Ardwolf Spit. All right. There must be an Ardwolf around here somewhere. We hit Ardwolf Spit! <laughs> and there's the Ardwolf! What an amazing creature. An Ardwolf only eats a few termite species and she only hunts them at night. She uses her long sticky tongue to lick up the termites. She can eat 200,000 termites in one night. All right, well we've got the secret ingredient for the shrinking machine. Let's get back to Animal Junction with this Ardwolf Spit. <laughs> Giraffe Spit. We, we don't, don't need, need any of that. <laughs> Not today, at least. <laughs> hey, Chris, look. It's Animal Junction. We did it, Saba. We found the secret ingredient. Whoa. Do you see what I see? Giant Chihuahua. Mini anteater. Brothers. The machine's really going crazy now. It's shrinking and enlarging everybody. Incredible. Have you ever seen a mini elephant? Or a giant chimpanzee? The whole world of nature's out of whack. Sabu, good thing we got back when we did. You can say that again. Hope this art will spit works. Hi, <laughs> right, Brainiac. Oh, yeah, I'm ready too. Okay, we're ready to get back to normal. Let's do it. All we have to do is put the secret ingredient inside the machine and it's ready to go. Got it? All right. Turn it on. Okay, everybody, in the machine. Toothbrush first. It worked! <laughs> All right! Now the end eater. Hooray for our well <laughs> I'm a lemur again, and toothbrush is a big elephant again. Pine sized chihuahua, normal sized penguins, everyone's back to the size they should be. See you later, Splish and Splash. And everybody's the eaters they should be. <laughs> That's right. And Toothbrush is an herbivore. That means he eats plants. Me too. I'm an herbivore too. <laughs> toothbrush can really pack away the plants. He can eat more than this whole pile of hay in just one day. And he's just a baby. Wow, he's a super duper power plant eater. <laughs> But shark is a different kind of eater. Chameleons are insectivores. That means he's a bug eater, because an insect is a bug and a vore is an eater. So an insectivore is a bug eater. <laughs> you got it, Zabu. And shark really likes mealworms. Mm -hmm. Whoa, a chameleon has one fast tongue. He spots his prey, takes aim, and wham! He has his dinner. His tongue can be longer than his whole body. Wow. Hey, Zob, you have a mealworm on you. Well, that's okay. Shark will help me out, won't you, Shark? Oh, thanks. You know what, Shark? <laughs> All these eaters remind me of one time in Sabu Land. I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. where are you? Leap. Find when I bumped anywhere. into Sense It. Oh, oh no. hi, Sense It. Oh, hi, Zabu. I've been looking for you everywhere. Huh? We're having a taste test taste to find test? everybody's favorite food in Zabu Land. Oh, I love to eat. Lead the way. <laughs> Wiggy? She loves slurping big root noodles. And my personal favorite is mango fruit. Here, try oh, one, thanks, Zabu. Thanks, Sense It. Yummy. Oh, 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 oh
Oh, and I know oh, your favorite yeah. food, Bugly. Boconuts. Thanks, Sabudi Duck. Boconuts rock. <laughs> Sabu, you know, everybody has their favorite food, but I know one everybody likes. Oh, I'll bring oh, it in, Sabu. Ice fruit yeah. cake. Yeah. Ice fruit cake. Oh, yeah. I love cake. Oh, come on, everybody. Oh, 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 oh. And we ate Sabu Land ice fruit cake for the rest of the day. The end. <laughs> A great story, Leaf Eater. Well, thanks, Spaghetti Eater. <laughs> what was your favorite part of the day, Sabu? Oh, I like being inside and going into the air. I liked when Sabu was riding on that bike and whizzing all around. I liked when Slurpee slurped up all the avocado. <laughs> Ants and eaters are great. I love all kinds of eaters. Yeah! This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his body behind. All the friends we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. Guys, I gotta go do lemur things. See you later, Zabu. Keep on leaping, lemur. Hey, Martin, wanna go check out some dirt eaters? Oh, yeah, I'm with you, brother. And remember, all eaters are good eaters. It's just survival in the creature world. See you next time. To the earthworm! Hi, I'm Daniel. This is my pet Shara. Hi, I'm because there are going to be a lot of animals headed this way. Whoa! Oh. You okay, Chris? I'm okay. <laughs> know how we know? Creature poop. That's a sure sign that animals are around. Also, spring's here, winter's over. And a lot of animals sleep through the winter, right? Like black bears, who are so hungry when they wake up, they'll even eat grass. Talk about hungry creatures. Where's Zabu? Let's call him. Like we're hungry bears. Zabu. Arr. Come on and help us. Zabu. Zabu. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Hi, buddy. <laughs> yeah. How are you? Come on. Time for your snack. Zabu's such a good buddy. Right, Tom? You know Zabu. He likes to have a snack before he talks. Let's see what we've got. Yeah. Zabu, cucumber. Yum. Hi, good to see you. 
Hi, Zob. Oh, hey, Martin. What's going on? On my way here, I saw animals everywhere. I saw big ones with little ones. They look the same. Why, yeah. Lots of animals have babies in the spring. I don't see spring. Where's spring? <laughs> what? Spring's everywhere. When winter's over, everything warms up. That's spring. And that's when many animals have babies. Cats have kittens. Prairie dogs have pups. Sheep have lambs. And horses have foals. Seeker, I just reminded myself, I saw the most amazing animal. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this <laughs> mystery? <laughs> she had bird feet. And she wasn't alone. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. They bobbled their heads. She's a clucking, head bobbling bird creature. Do you know who she is? Okay. Wobble in a bobble, she makes a cluck cluck sound. I know who the mystery animal is. Do you know who she is? I know you know this one. <laughs> yeah, a chicken! Not only one, we have chickens! Ah, mystery animals are here! Ah, oh, some crazy looking birds! <laughs> Hi, chickens! I wonder if they're hungry. Did you sleep all winter? Chickens sleep every night, Zob, just like we do. Hmm. But I think you're right. Right now, they're just hungry. Hey, let's eat like chickens. Okay, peck with your beak. Ow! Oh, oh I hurt my nose. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Let's try again, Chris. Okay, Zob. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. I think we need beaks. Yeah. Chickens have great beaks for getting food off the ground. Food like tiny little seeds. Hey, see that wobbly red thing on her head? That's called a comb. Hey, you want to make chicken sounds? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Chickens are strutting their stuff. Let's do the chicken walk. I think I'm getting it. Sort of. This is hard for Lemur. Way to go, Zob! When you walk like a chicken, you have to stick your neck out back and forth. Martin, Chris, everybody, come here! Look, why is she sitting on those bumpy rocks? Those are eggs, Zob. She sits on her eggs to keep them warm. By keeping them warm, she makes them hatch. Hatch? Hatch? What's hatch? Hatch is when the babies break out of the eggs. Hey, waiting for eggs to hatch is making her itchy. <laughs> She's not itchy. She's plucking feathers out of her beak to make her nest warmer and more comfortable for the eggs. There are little baby chicks inside those eggs. They stay inside until they're ready to hatch. And they have to stay nice and warm to hatch. So where's the mother going? Good question. <gasps> of course. That's a Rhode Island red chicken. They lay brown eggs. And those eggs are white. So she didn't lay those eggs, and she's not the mother, but who's going to keep them warm? <sighs> I'll warm the eggs. I'll help them hatch. <laughs> oh, these eggs sure feel funny. They're bumpy on my bottom. <laughs> oh, you're the bumpy one. Look at this. Hmm? These eggs are all the same. Oh, yeah. They're chicken eggs, but that one's different. Wow. Who could it be? I don't know. Let's see. There's a lot of animals who lay eggs, right? So it could be uh... a seagull egg. No, but they're smaller and speckled. Can't be a seagull egg. What about a snake egg? Did you know that most snakes lay eggs? And snake eggs are white and about the same shape. Could be a snake egg. Could be. 
But I know it can't be a snappy turtle egg because she lays her eggs in the sand and her eggs look like little ping pong balls. But that's only the beginning. There are so many other creatures who lay eggs. So whose egg is it? Don't know. Maybe we have to wait and see what hatches. Hatch, hatch. What's it like to be in an egg? Well, Zob, it's pretty squishy and gooey in here. <laughs> What's Chris doing inside that egg? What, Chris? It's pretty squishy and gooey in here. Whoa. Chris, you gotta speak louder. We can hardly hear you from inside that egg. I said, it's pretty squishy and gooey oh, in oh, here. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is some egg. One thing about being in an egg is it's pretty cozy and safe in here, but it's really hard to see. Where is everybody? I got in here, but how am I gonna get out? Can you believe there's a little chick curled up inside here? Whoa. Hmm. It's so hard, how can they breathe? Well, the eggshell has little air holes called pores that let the air in so the chicks can breathe inside the egg. Hey, you know that yellow ball inside an egg? That's called a yolk. 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 And the yolk is the food that the chicks eat so that they can get big and strong enough to break out of these eggshells. Wow. Exactly. If you're going to be in an egg for a while, you need something to munch on. And I've got food in here, too. Pizza! <laughs> Chris made a yolk. Chris made a yolk! Yep, and it's time for me to hatch out of this egg. Ah. Ah. The chicks want out, too. A chick has an egg tooth on the tip of her beak. And with that egg tooth, she starts tapping at the inside of the shell. And soon, she makes a crack, and then she can start breaking out. Wow, she's hatching. That egg tooth really works. It's a good thing I have my pickaxe. I can use this just like a chick uses an egg tooth. <gasps> Chris is hatching. Hatch, hatch. He's open. Oh, oh. These eggs are cracking too. Oh, hatch, hatch. More hatching. I can't believe my mind. It's happening. Chris is hatching. And the eggs are hatching too. Chris and the eggs are hatching together. Hurry up, Chris. Yeah, you don't want to miss this. I know, but getting out of here isn't as easy as it looks. I gotta hurry up. I don't want to miss those chicks hatching. Come on, Chris. You can do it. Ah. Hurry up, Chris. The eggs are hatching. There's got to be a better way. Those chicks are going to hatch, and I don't want to miss this. Quick, up! check it out. Huh? Look at her. Oh, she's coming out. Her head's pushing out. Go, Chick, go. Oh, come on, oh. push harder. She's almost out. You can make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, uh, she's making her way out. She hatched. She did it. Welcome to the creature world. I made it. Hurry, Chris. The rest of the chicks are hatching now. Wow. Way to go, chicks. <laughs> we did it. They're all gooey and wet, like Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but soon they'll dry off, and then they'll be super fluffy, like those two. But those eggs are still hatching, like the egg that hatched in Zabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, leap, Leap when I landed on a huge rock. But it wasn't a rock. It was an egg. And it cracked. Oh, my mind got a great idea. I could fix the egg with some Zabuland tree sap. So I got some. Oh, it's very gooey. <laughs> and I put it on the egg. But the egg kept cracking and oh, cracking and cracking and cracking and whoa! <laughs> Zingo! Has baby Zabumafuasaurus. <laughs> Mommy? <laughs> me? I'm not your mommy. Oh, will you help me find my mommy? So I said, sure. And we went to find his mommy. On the way, baby Zabumafuasaurus kept saying, oh, Where is she? Where's my mommy? Until suddenly, oof! I hit a huge leg. Here's your mom. Mommy! <laughs> baby! 
So we hopped on board and had a nice ride home. The end. Manga Zika. All the chicks are hatched and fluffy now. Listen to them. Make the chick sound. Look how they're picking at the straw already, Sabu. Oh, yeah. He finished his yolk, and now he's looking for something else to eat. They're getting pretty adventurous already. They're starting to leave the nest. Where are you going? They're already starting to explore. There they go. Come on. All right. Come on, guy. Come on, chicks. Follow me. I'm a leaping lemur. I think they like me, Martin. I think the chicks think Zabu is their mom. That's me. I'm a chick's mom. I feel different and not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel chickenish. How about you? Chickenish. I feel chickenish. <laughs> what? Chickenish. This way. I'm a big mama chicken. All the chicks will follow me. <laughs> Chicks are adventurous, but they're not very good climbers. <laughs> hey, I need a snack. It's hard to be a chick's mom. Oh, the chicks look hungry. I'll get them some food, too. <laughs> I have to be their mom, because she's not here. Rhino? No, that's not it. Bear? No, that's not it either. <sighs> Chick. Yep, that's the one. Huh? Oh, I guess it's broken again. Well, maybe it's empty. Huh. No, I think it's empty. <laughs> Supper time! Hey, Zob, huh? what's it like being mom to all these chicks? Oh, it's a fluffy job, but somebody's got to do it. I can do it as long as their real mom isn't here. But where is she? There she is! The mom! She's a shaver chicken, and she lays white eggs. Hi, mom chicken. Oh, now that she's here, I can take a nap. Sob was a great chicken mom, but now the chicks have the real mom to follow. There goes the family. Uh, uh, everybody up? My chicks have flown the coop. Bye, chickens! Bye, Mangatsika chicks! But what about this egg? I can't wait until this egg hatches so we can find out who's inside. So I wonder who's gonna hatch from that egg? Well, whoever it is, Sabu, Pretty soon, it's gonna start hatching. And whatever the creature, they all hatch in the same way. First, they break out of the shell. And like a snapping turtle does, they fight, and when they finally get out, they're off and on their own, ready to take on the world. Some snakes, like a boa constrictor, get a little help from mom. She watches over the eggs as each baby snake makes a slit in the egg with her egg tooth and slowly unwinds out of the shell. But who could be in this egg? Duck! Nope, it's not a duck egg. Duck! I'm telling you, it's not a duck egg. Duck! duck! Hi, Sticky Feet. You missed the greatest thing. Baby chicks hatched from an egg. From an egg! Oh. Forgot, you're a bird. And most birds raise chicks every year. So he's probably seen a lot of eggs hatch. Hatch, yeah, hatch. <laughs> it's a message from Jackie. We came here to go swimming yesterday, but instead we did something even better. You see, salmon come here to lay their eggs and we didn't want anyone to disturb them. We got some rope and put it around so people wouldn't cross the river there. And we even put up a sign to let people know. Hey, why don't you guys cross over the bridge over there? Sam and I are laying their eggs here. Look. What a great animal helper. Mungatsika, 
Not just birds come from eggs. Martin, Chris, look! The egg! It's hatched! Martin, Chris, it's hatched! What is he? An alligator, of course! Alligator. Alligator. Where's alligator's mommy? You're onto something. Alligators are one of the few reptiles that need their mom after they hatch. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? What are they thinking? We have to get this baby alligator back to his mom. To the swamp. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> oh. Oh. Woo. <laughs> Look who they forgot. Hey, Chris. Look who you forgot. <laughs> hey, you're the reason we're going on this trip, little guy. Well, he's moving fast. <laughs> Thanks, Zob. They're going on a cool adventure, and they don't know what's in store. They're coming Come on, little alligator. Let's get you back home to the door. wild. I got your pack, Chris. See you later, alligator. <laughs> we have to find this baby alligator's mom. But you know, a mother alligator can be one of the most dangerous creatures in the world. However, she's not dangerous at all. As long as you give her space, you don't get too close to her nest, and you don't pick up her babies. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We better get this baby alligator home, and quick. OK, alligators always build their nests near the water. So let's hit the water. <laughs> Come on, Chris. <laughs> Swamps are one of the best creature habitats. There's plenty of water, plants, and food for all kinds of creatures. Check it out. Pink flamingos. An animal. And birds like herons find lots of fish to eat here. Oh yeah, this is a great place to find creatures. A soft-shelled turtle. What a smooth swimmer. Hey, and water snakes like cottonmouths love to live here. And in a swamp, you'll find alligators everywhere. Oh! <laughs> hey, Chris, wait for me. <laughs> Nice polling, Martin. <laughs> Look at this, an alligator nest. An alligator mom buries her eggs under a mound of dirt, leaves, and grass. Then she packs it all in with her nose and feet. With the heat of the sun, the mound incubates the eggs. Then all she has to do is stand guard until the eggs hatch. Once the eggs have hatched underground, the baby alligators call to their mom to help dig them out. <laughs> And then sometimes, she'll even carry her babies in her mouth down to the water and take care of them until they're big enough to be on their own. Think he's trying to tell us something? I don't think he's talking to us. Uh-oh! It's Mom! Remember what we said about giving an alligator mom her space? And not getting too close to her nest? And not picking up her babies? Back where you belong, living free and in the wild. Run! Whew, that was a close one. Yeah, but mission accomplished. We got the baby alligator back home to his mom where he belongs. And now it's time to head back to Animal Junction. Hey, Zabu, we found the alligator nest. Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Oh. I'm helping to hatch. The daddy bird went looking for food, and I'm sitting on these huge eggs. Huh. Yeah, they're emu eggs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm keeping them warm, 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 so they'll hatch, hatch, hatch. Hmm. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! What's with him? It's the eggs. They're hatching. Mommy, Sika, look at them. Way to go, emus!
is. They did it! Yeah! Here comes the proud papa to check them out! <laughs> the emu chicks have to hatch by themselves, but after that, they won't be alone because dad takes care of them. Look at how their eyelids come from the side and not from the top like ours. Oh yeah, when they blink, it goes whoop, whoop. That is really neat, I never noticed that before. They like to huddle together right after they're born and keep each other warm. Hey, they're going to sleep. This reminds me of another time I met Zaboomafuasaurus in Zabu land. <laughs> I was sleeping along. Sleep, 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 sleep. <sighs> when all of a sudden... <sighs> hey, Zabu, are you sleeping? <sighs> I'm not sleeping anymore. Oh, good. I'm all alone. Can you puppy sit me? Maybe, if you're a puppy. Uh, I'm a dinosaur puppy. Okay, then I'll dinosaur puppy sit you. Oh, do you want to chase my tail, Zabu? Uh, I'll chase it before you can say Zaboomafuasaurus. Zaboomafuasaurus. I got you. Well, let's see if you can hang on. I can hang on. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Oh, hi, Zabu. Hi, Noggin Drill. I th Ow. Oh, watch your hand. Oh. I think I need some help taking care of baby Zabumafuasaurus. Well, maybe you should call his mom. Great idea. Hey, Mom Zabumafuasaurus. Hi, Zabu. Mommy, huh? Zabu took care of me. Thank you, Zabu. So we hopped on board and had a nice ride home. <laughs> the end. There sure are a lot of great creature moms around, aren't there? Me too, remember? <laughs> <laughs> you too, Sam. <Sob. laughs> I think your dad's leaving, baby chicks. Bye, emus. High five. Yeah. <laughs> this animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. Yeah! Bye, brothers. Bye, Zabu. See you, Zab. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, my name's Kai, and this is my pet hamster, Sarah.